we are, were probably the first clinic in the United States that started to focus specifically on adolescents and young adults who were considered to be at risk for developing psychosis in the future. So the RAP program has, since it started, had two goals. Uh, the first was to stop the illness from developing in these adolescents, and the second was by following them and studying them closely over a number of years that we would learn the factors causing severe psychotic disorders such as schizophrenia. At the IEPA conference in Japan, uh, Paul Aminger is either, has, either already has or is about to present some ground-shattering findings um, that, um, that we're talking about today. Now these are not brand new findings. They're actually follow-up to an equally groundbreaking article he published in 2010. And what this is about is that omega-3 fatty acids, or uh, popularly known as fish oil, in his research what, uh, were able, was able to reduce both symptoms and the tendency to develop psychosis in a group of at-risk individuals under study. What he has done at, in Japan today is to report uh, findings from a follow-up study of those same individuals. And what he found, most surprisingly, is that that effect of symptom reduction and control and uh, preventing progression to psychosis has been maintained for the past at least five years, which is a truly um, amazing finding. There have been clinical trials in the field of prevention since 1990. That's when the field started emerging. And in most of the early ones, the notion was that if you were going to treat at-risk individuals, you probably had to use antipsychotic medications. And this was because antipsychotic medications are most effective in controlling psychotic or positive symptoms in already affected adults. So it was intuitively uh, made sense that if you wanted to stop these symptoms from evolving, you should also use antipsychotics. It turns out that 70%, at least 70% of any given high-risk population never develop an illness. We call these false positives. 30% of the population does go on to develop a psychotic illness. Those are true positives. We can't tell the difference between false positives and true positives. They all look the same to us when we're um, measuring them using our instruments, our interview instruments, and our criteria ratings. So what happens? We give the entire population antipsychotics, because we don't know who really is going to develop it and who isn't. And antipsychotics have a large number of very serious side effects. And what are you doing? You are potentially damaging 70% and possibly helping 30, 7 to 3. Very bad ratio. Raised all kinds of ethical and other questions about the wisdom of using antipsychotics at this early stage of illness. But now, Dr. Aminger introduces a different kind of treatment, a kind of treatment that we are pretty sure is safe for everybody. If we can actually get great results for those 30% and reduce their symptoms and maybe prevent the illness, and yet we're not doing any damage to the 70% of false positives, and maybe we're helping them as well because they are uh, considered at risk because they have some kind of symptoms, they just aren't going to become psychotic. And fish oil may well help some of those symptoms, like their cognitive deficits. So we now have a potential medication that's great for the whole population, and that is a game changer. So that is why I think these findings have so much potential and may have such a powerful impact on the field.